Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome to very beautiful game which was played 95 years ago. Uh, so during the tournament in Marienbad 1925, uh, let me introduce you the players. Uh, David Janowski, who was at that time 57 years old. David Janowski, if you are interested in chess, you know that he was very sharp tactician. Capablanca said that he could be unpredictable, but at the same time, he didn't want to, uh, you know, study the end games and uh, he lost a lot of games against the positional players where he couldn't deliver any tactics and, uh, and he lost in the end game. Uh, however, definitely he was very, very sharp tactician. Uh, according to the Chess metrics. He is ranking at the time 2498, so still very very uh, strong player. But he wasn't already in the in the top 30 of the uh, of the world players but still very very respectable and invited to many of the tournaments uh, in this game he's gonna play as white and his opponent Friedrich Zemisch 29 years old German master he's ranking at that time according to the chess metrics 2575 and he's gonna play as black so without further ado let's see what happened um, on the board we have d4 by um, David Janowski, knight f6, knight f3, uh, and now e6. Bishop g5, torre attack, uh, and now c5. Uh, we have e3, knight c6, knight b to d2, and b6, preparing to develop the bishop on this beautiful diagonal, uh, and now c3. All of this, of course, is theory. Bishop b7 as planned, and now bishop d3. Uh, and here, nowadays, in the 21st century, most of the players uh, go very, very uh, regular moves, like bishop e7, and then castle, castle, and so on. So, um, this is pretty much, you know, um, the common theory nowadays. At that time, we have c takes on d4, e takes on d4, for, uh, it's still playable, of course. We have a couple of games in the database even nowadays, but definitely it's the it's the sideline. Uh, we have bishop e7 and now knight c4, preparing the knight to jump um, to e5 in the in the right moment. We have castle, and in the database we have only one move: uh, queen e2. Uh, queen e2 for some reason. And I will I will try to explain you why uh, by by showing you you know um, another ideas uh, what just happened in the game. In our game we have Queen C2 with a very simple threat: uh, pick up the knight uh, and then you know win the pawn on H7. So so very very simple. Uh, of course, Black could play something like H6, but also uh, could go for D5. It wouldn't be in the uh, in the spirit of this opening by Black, uh, but also b5 could be possible uh, and it doesn't look like that however look at this uh, if you play the line with b5 then a knights can jump to e5 uh, and then play h6 okay kicking the bishop um, and after bishop f6 bishop f6 this pawn shouldn't be actually taken because it's guarded by some very nice tactics. So bishop b5 and now knight d4 uh, attacking um, this bishop, attacking also the queen uh, and attacking the knight. And now if you want to take with the knight, then your knight on e5 is hanging. And if you take with the pawn and the problem is queen a5 with check, uh, winning the bishop and black stands slightly better. This pawn is definitely um, very bad pawn isolated it's gonna be lost also pair of bishops against a pair of knights and um, definitely black stands better here however instead of h6 uh, or b5 or d5 uh, Zemish play queen c7 and this is the slight inaccuracy actually uh, yes he brought the queen to the to the seven rank he connected the rook so that's one of the principles of course opening principles uh, however he actually uh, just gave the pawn for free but David Janowski didn't go for that. He could just, you know, simply win the win the pawn and retreat with the bishop to d3. However, as he was the sharp tactician, uh, then he didn't care about, you know, single pawns. Um, he he played, you know, against the strong uh, masters in the 19th end of the 19th century with the, a lot of successes. So he just, you know, uh, want to play very aggressive and tactic chess. Uh, this is why he played h4. We have h6 now threatening to take 
take the bishop and now queen d2 so he doesn't care that you know um, the bishop gonna be taken of course uh because if the bishop is taken then this rook gonna be fully operational on the on the h5 so uh, not that great but black could go for something like knight d5 uh, and it's very very interesting variation look at this knight d5 actually allows to take on h6 sacrifice this bishop on h6 and the point is that black doesn't need to take the, the bishop of course that would be losing but rather play something like knight c to b4 very important that this knight goes there because this knight has the mission to do something on f4 uh, so let me uh, just show you of course the knight cannot be taken because bishop b4 actually wins the queen pin the queen and wins the queen uh, and also this bishop is under attack and if it's lost then um, the attack not gonna be so strong also if the bishop moves for example to b1 uh, then this knight gonna be lost and so on so bishop e2 let's say and now g takes on h6 is actually possible because after queen h6 queen f4 uh this is the move which saves the game uh because uh because of course it's protected by this knight and um, and after let's say knight g5 threatening the checkmate on h7 queen f5 um, and only now c takes on b4 knight f4 and the game is very very complicated but black has a uh, pretty good chances uh, the bishop can take on on b4 the the rook can come to the to the open c file uh, the queen can come to c2 all of of this very very dangerous move even the knight can take uh, on g2 with the check and white have to be very care uh, careful but also black have to play very very precise uh, that would be insane if that happened in the game however we have knight g4 more logical human move actually defending h6 and as the knight cannot be attacked then uh, it looks like you know pretty okay move uh, we have bishop f4 now then the bishop can be taken uh, because if for example uh white gonna castle and bring the rook to the game uh the point is h takes on g5 uh is possible and after h takes on g5 f5 uh also saves the game okay uh th this is not possible anymore the, the queen is also blocked by the pawn and so on uh yes g takes on f6 is possible but rook f6 and uh, white have to you know find the way how to continue the attack but it's not so easy it's not so easy actually uh that the king can escape uh for example this way to the king side uh once it's on the on the f7 probably the rook can come also to f file and so on so uh, it's not so easy to continue the attack then the king probably gonna escape from the from the mating net uh, this is why janowski just uh, retreat with the bishop bishop f4 with some tempo on attack on the on the queen we have d6 and now janowski goes for knight e3 with the idea of exchanging the knight now the point is that knight f6 could be a pretty good and this knight is quite misplaced because this battery doesn't work anymore and also the knight cannot jump to all of these squares all of these squares are controlled by uh, by black so uh, that would be the best um, idea however we have knight e3 uh, queen e3 and now sacrifice on um, h6 is uh, possible again this is why we have h5 avoiding that but now rook h3 lifting the rook and bringing uh, with the idea of bringing the rook to g3 uh, and now the rook can join the game uh, so friedrich zemish see that okay the king is still in the center so we should open the center so the simplest idea of course is e5 this is what he played we have d takes on e5 knight takes on e5 knight takes on e5 and here Friedrich Zemisch uh, just miscalculated because it's it's we cannot blame him uh, the move he should play in this position was actually bishop f6 and only then pick up the the knight the point is that the knight cannot retreat uh, because rook f2 e8 wins the queen okay uh, 
and white cannot do anything about that if the bishop um, on e4 keep in mind that this bishop al also controls e4 so that would be the free bishop uh, and if white for example castle uh, then simply d takes on e5 and this bishop has to uh, go somewhere so bishop g5 queen e7 and so on the game can continue uh, and, uh, and yeah black has uh, pretty good chances um, to continue the game however we have d takes on e5 immediately uh, and here is the problem bishop e5 with tempo on the queen so queen has to uh, go somewhere or play something like a bishop d6 but it doesn't really matter because now white gonna deliver a beautiful punch and this is the time where you can pause the video uh, and enjoy beautiful tactical shot by 57 years old david janowski while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready I hope you found it um, when I said the beautiful shot probably uh, you should find some beautiful sacrifice and indeed Queen h6 boom and after that move Friedrich Zemisch resigned and he resigned because there is the, the checkmate uh, on h7 checkmate on g7 and if the queen is taken then we're gonna have checkmate with rook g3 boom very beautiful and um, another options for 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 black would be f5 blocking this diagonal but also queen takes under control g7 but it's not enough because after bishop c4 um there is another checkmate okay you can you can throw some pieces bishop d5 uh, you can throw uh, queen to f7 but it doesn't really matter because queen g7 and this would be the another beautiful checkmate uh, and the last uh, idea would be f6 which prolongs um the game a bit but it's still losing queen h7 uh, the simplest idea the easiest to understand idea kick the king um, from the corner uh, to the center and after bishop d6 the queen is already on d file and i hope you already see that uh, bishop g6 the king has to go uh to the e file and after check also to the d file so uh then of course after rook d1 uh white gonna win um, the rook for the queen so uh rook for the queen of course this is completely winning this is why after queen h6 friedrich zemish resigned beautiful game and if you didn't know the name of david janowski then actually i start the playlist with the best uh, games of david janowski i think it's um, everybody enjoys you know sharp tactical games and this shouldn't be an exception queen h6 just you know incredible move a uh, very very beautiful by 57 years old um, gentleman so if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like and if you want to see more quality content on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one